Huglas Douglas by David Melling, narrated by me. One spring morning, a sleepy someone let out a big yawn from the back of a deep, dark cave. It was a young brown bear, and his name was Douglas. I need a hug, said Douglas. Quick. So he wriggled out of his pajamas, brushed his hair, put on a scarf, and went to look for one. My best hugs are big, thought Douglas. So he went up to the biggest thing he could find, wrapped his arms all the way around, and gave it a squeeze. It didn't feel right. Oof, grunted Douglas. It's a bit too heavy. Help! My best hugs are tall thought Douglas, so he went up to the tallest thing he could find. He hugged the bottom, he hugged the middle, and he hugged as high as he could reach. Ouch! But it was all wrong, and it gave him splinters. My best hugs are comfy thought Douglas, and he trotted towards a cozy-looking bush. He hugged the bush, but something felt very odd. The leaves quivered and trembled. And ran away. Give me a hug, cried Douglas. No, bad the sheep, we're too busy. He scooped up armfuls anyway and tried to cuddle them gently, but they kicked and squirmed and didn't like it at all. Poor Douglas. Why can't I find a hug? he said. If I want a hug, said a wise owl, I sit in my tree and... Let me try, whooped Douglas, and he scrambled up next to the owl but he soon found himself in a little trouble. Hoo hoo, said the owl angrily. I only wanted a hug, sniffed Douglas. Perhaps there's one down here. He felt something long-eared and rabbity and gave it a tug. Douglas could tell the rabbit didn't want a hug, but he sniffed again and without thinking, wiped his nose on its fluffy tail. Excuse me, shouted the rabbit. Put me down. But I need a hug, said Douglas, and I can't find one anywhere. Oh, I see, said the rabbit kindly. Come with me. He took Douglas by the paw and led him up, down, and around. At last they came to a deep, dark cave where a sleepy someone was just waking up. Yawn! Douglas peeped inside. He had the funniest feeling that he knew the someone very well. Hug! asked Douglas and ran as fast as he could toward... His mommy... Come to think of it, my best hugs are from someone I love, said Douglas, and he snuggled into the biggest, warmest arms he knew.